and sleeds it. So it is absolutely crucial that every day we spend trying to separate fact from fiction and to find some intelligence thread that sends us to the factual side of all the names and all the places that you in this room have written about. Just the fact that you say it doesn't mean it's fact. It's incumbent on our staff and on our members to, in fact, connect that intelligence thread to that for us to make some determination as to the relevance of it in our investigation. So Mark and I work hand in hand on this, and uh, contrary to uh, uh, maybe popular belief, uh, we're, we're partners to see that this is uh, completed and that we've got a uh, product at the end of the day that we can have bipartisanship in supporting. Mark? Thank you, Richard. Thank you, Richard. Um, and let me, I'm going to repeat many of, the same, many of the things the chairman have said, but I think it's important that you hear it from both of us. Obviously, there's a lot of drama out there that about the stories that all of you are running down, and I think echoing what the chairman has said, it's important for us at least, and I think all of us here, to remember to not lose sight about what this investigation is about. An outside foreign adversary effectively sought to hijack our most critical democratic process, the election of a president. And in that process, decided to favor one candidate over another. I can assure you, they didn't do it because it was in the best interest of the American people. Russia's goal, Vladimir Putin's goal, is a weaker United States, weaker economically, weaker globally, and that should be a concern to all Americans, regardless of party affiliation. We're here to assure you, and more importantly, the American people who are watching and listening, that we will get to the bottom of this. Richard and I have known each other a long time, and the chairman and I both have a serious concern about what the Russians have done and continue to do around the world. And I'll come back to this in a moment when we talk about tomorrow's hearing. But some of the techniques that Russia used in this election, as we find more and more, I think would send a chill down anyone who believes in a democratic process in this country or around the world. And echoing what the chairman has said, the committee will follow the intelligence wherever it leads. We need to get this right. And sometimes that means, especially for somebody like me, who uh, wants things done yesterday, that it's not going to happen as quickly as I would like or many members of our committee would like. But getting it right is more important than getting it done 